Imagine a creature that spends 90% of its life hanging upside down, moves at a pace slower than a snail, and sleeps for up to 20 hours a day. Yes, you guessed it, we're talking about the fascinating world of sloths. These peculiar creatures are masters of slow living. Their top speed is around 2 meters per minute, that's right. Even a tortoise could outrun a sloth in a foot race. But don't be fooled, this slow pace is a deliberate strategy. It helps them conserve energy, which is crucial, because their diet doesn't provide them with much. And speaking of hanging upside down, sloths are uniquely equipped for this lifestyle. Their internal organs are anchored in place so they don't squish their lungs, allowing them to breathe easily even when they're hanging upside down for hours. Now, on to their favorite pastime, sleep. Sloths are possibly the sleepiest creatures on Earth. They sleep for up to 20 hours a day. Imagine they're just hanging out, dreaming their lives away. But when they are awake, they're pretty chill too, often just munching on leaves, twigs, and buds. There are two main types of sloths, the two-toed and the three-toed sloths. Despite their names, both types have three toes. The difference lies in their fingers. Two-toed sloths have two fingers, while three-toed sloths have three. Simple as that. Two-toed sloths are generally larger, faster, if you can call it that, and more aggressive than their three-toed cousins. They also have a more varied diet, feeding on fruits and insects in addition to leaves. On the other hand, three-toed sloths are the poster children for sloths. They're the ones with the perpetually happy faces that you often see in pictures. But don't let their smiles fool you. They have a tough life with a diet of just leaves, which provides them with very little nutrition and energy. These slow-moving, tree-dwelling creatures are indeed a marvel of nature. Their laid-back lifestyle, unique physiology, and adorable faces make them one of the most fascinating creatures on our planet. So the next time you're feeling rushed, just remember the sloths and take it easy. The life of a baby sloth is no less fascinating than its adult counterparts. Imagine being born into a world that's upside down. That's the reality for baby sloths. Their journey into this world begins after a gestation period of approximately 10 months, which, just like in human terms, is quite a long wait. But unlike humans, these little creatures come into the world fully prepared for their arboreal life. It's a unique spectacle, really. Baby sloths are born fully furred, clawed, and with their eyes wide open. They come out ready to tackle the world, or at least the trees. Their fur, a canvas for a variety of symbiotic organisms, is their first line of defense against the elements, while their sharp claws are essential for a life spent among the branches. And, speaking of claws, these little ones are quite the clingy types, and no, we're not talking about their personalities. For the first few weeks after birth, baby sloths are virtually inseparable from their mothers clinging to their bellies as they navigate the leafy canopies. This gives them a front row seat to learn the ropes of sloth life, from maneuvering through the treetops to identifying safe leaves to munch on. But don't let their laid-back demeanor fool you. These babies are quick learners. And it's not long before they start exploring on their own, albeit at their own slow pace. They may not win any races, but their steady, methodical movements are a testament to their adaptability and resilience. Yes, the life of a baby sloth is a journey of learning and discovery, of growing into their roles in the complex ecosystem they call home. It's a life lived upside down, quite literally, but one that's full of unique adventures and experiences. For baby sloths, the world is literally upside down from the moment they are born. When it comes to food, sloths are not picky eaters. Now you may be thinking, well, they're sloths. They probably don't have many options. And you'd be right. But these chilled out creatures have honed in on a diet that perfectly suits their laid back lifestyle. Sloths are what we call folivores, meaning their diet mainly consists of leaves, along with the occasional twig or bud for a little variety. You see in the grand smorgasbord of the animal kingdom, not a lot of creatures are vying for leaves. They're not exactly the most energy-packed food source, but then again, sloths aren't exactly running marathons. Their slow metabolism is perfectly adapted to this low-energy diet. In fact, it's so slow that it can take a sloth up to a month to fully digest a single leaf. Yes, you heard that right. A month for one leaf. It's a good thing they're not in any hurry. 
And uh, to handle this leafy diet, sloths have a four-part stomach, similar to a cow. Each section plays a crucial role in the slow and steady breakdown of the tough leaves they consume. The process is so slow that a full stomach of leaves can account for up to two-thirds of a sloth's total body weight. Talk about a food baby. This slow digestion also has another benefit. It means sloths don't need to risk leaving the safety of the trees very often. They only descend to the ground about once a week to, well, let's just say, lighten the load. So, while their diet may not be the most glamorous or varied, it's perfectly suited to the sloth's slow-paced lifestyle. They've turned what many would see as a disadvantage into a survival strategy that has allowed them to flourish in their natural habitats. It's a slow life for sloths, even when it comes to digesting their food. But hey, they're not complaining. After all, who's in a rush when you're living life in the slow lane? In the wild, survival is the name of the game, and sloths are no exception. These languid creatures have developed a unique set of survival tactics that have allowed them to thrive in the jungle for millions of years. Let's start with their fur. Unlike your typical mammal, sloth's fur is a teeming microcosm of life. The fur is grooved, allowing it to host a variety of organisms such as moths, beetles, and fungi, but the most interesting tenant has to be the algae. Yes, you heard it right. Sloths are walking or rather hanging gardens. This algae gives the sloth's fur a greenish hue, providing an excellent camouflage against the leafy backdrop of the jungle. And speaking of hanging, did you know that sloths sleep, eat, mate, and even give birth upside down? This bizarre lifestyle further helps them blend into the surrounding foliage and stay out of sight from predators. But the sloth's survival playbook doesn't stop at camouflage. Their infamous slow movement, often seen as a disadvantage, is actually a clever survival strategy. By moving at a snail's pace, sloths can avoid detection by predators that rely heavily on sight and movement. They are the master of the if I move slowly enough, maybe they won't notice me tactic. Imagine trying to spot a slow-moving greenish lump among a sea of leaves. Not so easy, is it? Interestingly, sloths are not as defenseless as they appear. When threatened, they can use their long, sharp claws to fend off attackers. Plus, they can also bite quite hard. So, while they may seem like easy prey, they can certainly put up a fight when needed. All these adaptations from their algae-covered fur to their slow movement have allowed sloths to survive in the harsh reality of the jungle. They are a testament to the fact that in the game of survival, it's not always the fastest or the strongest that wins, but the one most adaptable to change. Sloths may be slow, but they are certainly smart when it comes to survival. Despite their unique survival tactics, sloths face numerous threats in the wild. Just like their slow, deliberate movements, the dangers creeping up on them have been gradual but persistent. Let's delve into some of these threats and see what's being done to help our tree-dwelling friends. Deforestation is one of the primary threats to sloths. As forests are cleared for agriculture or urbanization, sloths lose their homes and their sources of food. Picture this. A sloth without a tree is like a fish without water. Not a pretty sight, right? Then there's poaching. Despite being protected by law in many places, Sloths are still hunted for their meat and fur. It's a sad reality that these laid-back creatures have to deal with. And let's not forget the pet trade. Sloths may look like cuddly teddy bears, but they're wild animals and not suited to life in a domestic environment. Yet they're often captured and sold as pets, a stressful experience that can shorten their lifespan. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are numerous conservation efforts underway to protect sloths and their habitats. Organizations like the Sloth Conservation Foundation work tirelessly to preserve sloth populations and their rainforest homes. They conduct research, rescue and rehabilitate injured sloths, and educate the public about these intriguing creatures. There's also a push for sustainable agriculture and forestry practices that minimize the impact on sloths and other wildlife. And laws are being enforced more strictly to clamp down on poaching and the illegal pet trade. So, while threats to sloths are real and pressing, steps are being taken to ensure their survival. It's a slow process, much like the sloths themselves, but every effort counts. After all, we're talking about preserving a creature that's been around since the age of dinosaurs. Let's hope our slow-moving friends continue to hang around for a long time to come.